students welcome to my channel i am mr swen chutke and in the last 10 years i have helped hundreds of students achieve their dream result in isc now yes 13th may friday your chemistry board exam pressure is building up guys and today we are here to discuss some super important name reactions which are having a very bright chance that they may come in your exam so let's start discussing right away with these reactions the first one clemenson's reduction now this is a reaction wherein the aldehydes or ketones get reduced to alkenes and the way we remember this reaction uh, i've designed a mnemonic for you to remember this reaction that is jakas a bollywood word jakas z will stand for zinc h will stand for a g h will also stand for nascent hydrogen a will stand for aldehyde k for ketone and a finally for alkene and s is just to complete the word it does not stand for anything right so we can either use an aldehyde or a ketone in this reaction you can use either of them and zinc amalgam will be the catalyst zinc amalgam will be the catalyst i can use either an aldehyde or a ketone so i'll be writing i'll be using a ketone over here ch3 c double bond o ch3 and i'm going to add what four nascent hydrogens in here and when i add these four nascent hydrogens what's going to happen you must have already guessed it that these two hydrogens are going to combine with this oxygen i've purposefully written four hydrogens separately so two hydrogens combining with oxygen and here we get h2o the remaining two hydrogens will get attached to the carbon and we will be getting ch3 ch2 ch3 and that's nothing but propane okay so that's an alkane so finally we have got an alkane so z and an hg on the arrow h for nascent hydrogen here as the reactant either aldehyde or a ketone as one of the reactants and we have converted finally it into an alkane we have reduced it we have removed the oxygen and we have reduced it this is clemenson's reduction for you let's move on to the next one wolf kishner reduction this is again a reduction reaction of aldehydes and ketones again i can start with an aldehyde or a ketone but wait a minute how do i remember this reaction k will stand for koh you can see that i have written some letters capital over here so k will stand for koh h will stand for hydrogen which is nh2 nh2 e will stand for ethylene glycol which is ch2 ch2 oh and oh ethylene glycol and r stands for reduction so let's begin with this reaction we are going to start earlier i had taken an aldehyde now i'm taking uh, earlier i had taken a ketone now i'm taking an aldehyde and in this i am going to add hydrazine that is nh2 single bond nh2 this is hydrazine so this h2 and o will quickly combine with each other to form h2o and this nitrogen will get attached to the carbon in with a double bond so here we go ch3 c double bond n and that n is further attached to an nh2 and this is attached to a hydrogen valence is satisfied now here you will add koh koh in the presence of ethylene glycol ethylene glycol is ch2 single bond ch2 both the carbons are attached to 11 oh each so this combination we are going to use to convert this into an like you can see that these two hydrogens will con will get attached to this carbon so that it converts into an alkane which alkane has it got converted into ethane i i hope you've understood what's happened over here these two hydrogens have got attached to this carbon these two nitrogens have been liberated as nitrogen gas which is nothing but n triple bond n the native state of nitrogen over here and these two hydrogens got attached to this one hydrogen is already present 2 plus 1 three hydrogens ch3 and ch3 you get what ethane so this is wolf kishner reaction for you okay. okay so the, we are uh, doing a rapid fire of the reduction reactions first now pinacolon pinacol reaction this is an exceptional reaction wherein a ketone on reduction is converting into a tertiary alcohol generally ketone on reduction gives you secondary alcohol but this is the only reaction wherein a ketone now you have to write the way i am writing okay a ketone on reduction is going to give you a tertiary alcohol we are going to reduce it with what magnesium okay we are going to reduce it with magnesium so what is going to happen this oxygen and this oxygen will break its double bond and connect a single bond with magnesium let's look at what's happening copy paste nakal karne mein akal chahiye nahi to shakal bigad jati hai ch3 c ch3 i have copy pasted single bond o this o is connected to a magnesium same thing is happening at the bottom ch3 c ch3 and this double bond o will get converted into single bond o 
connected with a single bond of oxygen. Now this carbon you can see is having valency 1, 2, 3. This carbon is having valency 1, 2, 3. Whereas you know that carbon should have a valency of 4. So we connect these two carbons. Okay. So now after connecting these two carbons, the valency of the carbons has become stable. But now the reaction is not yet complete. What do we add? We will add, say for example, HCl. Two molecules of HCl. Mg will combine with those two Cl, giving you MgCl2. And these two hydrogens will get attached to the oxygens and this magnesium will go along with the two Cl giving you MgCl2. So what are we left with? We are left with CH3CCH3 single bond. S just copy paste that's th that's it. CH3 CH3 over here okay and this oxygen is attached to an hydrogen this oxygen is to also attached to an oxygen. Now don't you think that this OH is attached to a carbon which is in turn attached to one two and three other carbons and hence it is a tertiary carbon and hence this alcohol is a tertiary alcohol same goes with the OH which is placed at the bottom. So this alcohol is a tertiary alcohol so I'm telling you this is an exceptional reaction wherein your ketone on reduction is converting into a tertiary alcohol and the reason now you must have understood why it is called as pinacolon pinacol reaction pinacolon because a ketone got converted into pinacol all meaning alcohol so it's a ketone converting to alcohol that's why it's called as pinacolon pinacol reaction let's quickly move on to the next reaction gabriel thalamide reaction now for remembering this reaction this is the mnemonic hus corona Okay, I don't know whether you understand it perfectly, but Huskar Rona. Okay, so what are we going to do is we're going to directly take the thalamide. I hope you know what is a thalamide. Thalamide is prepared from thalic acid. Thalic acid and ammonia react with each other to form thalamide. So this is the structure of thalamide over here. Okay, this is the structure of thalamide. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you able to see this hydrogen over here? Yes, Huskar Rona. Hus, matlab hydrogen, that hydrogen is here. This hydrogen has to be replaced with a K, Huskar. Then it has to be replaced with an R. And then finally, it has to be replaced with ONA. So, let's begin with the reaction Huskar Rona Gabriel Thalamide. So, what do I add here in order to replace hydrogen with the potassium? So, I will add, say for example, KOH. Okay, so KOH will allow me to attach like H and OH can combine to form H2O and K will get attached over here. So here we are going to get what? Have a look. I'm copy pasting. This is a big reaction. You need to be a little patient. Okay, C double bondo, C double bondo over here. And this N will be connected to a K now. Okay, NK. Now we have done the first step, Hus, Kar. Now Kar has to be converted into R. Okay, that means K has, be, has to be replaced with R. And we have to attach an alkyl group. For attaching an alkyl group, I'll take an RX. That's an haloalkane. So K and X will combine to form KX. That is potassium halide. And R will in turn get attached in place of potassium. R will get attached in place of potassium. So C double bondo, C double bondo as it is. And this nitrogen is getting connected to an alkyl group over here. This nitrogen is connected to an alkyl group and everything else remains the same. Now our mnemonic, just come back, fall back on the mnemonic. Huskar Rona. Now R has been, R has to be replaced by ONA. So if I want an ONA group over here, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to add NaOH over here. So I'll add NaOH. How many NaOH should I add? I'll add 2 NaOH over here. Yes, 2 NaOH over here. Then this entire thing, Rn and these two hydrogens of the sodium hydroxide will combine. This will split into NaO minus and H plus. NaO minus and H plus, these two hydrogens and Rn will combine to give you our major product. I mean, what are we are preparing? What we are doing this reaction for? We are doing this reaction for preparation of amines and we've got amines RnH2. This ONA and ONA will get attached to the C double bondo and this is your byproduct although it's, it looks big but this is your byproduct and this is your major product I mean the main product okay so here we are having C double bondo and ONA this is called a sodium thalate by the way sodium thalate is the byproduct RnH2 alkanamine is the uh, main product this is the uh, side product or the byproduct 
okay so in this reaction what question can be asked is either they can ask you gabriel thalamide directly or they can ask you why this reaction this particular reaction cannot prepare an aromatic amine you cannot prepare an aromatic amine using gabriel thalamide reaction now what's the reason that you cannot prepare uh, aromatic amine that instead of r why can't you get an ar nh2 over here so ar nh2 is what ar nh2 is basically an aromatic ring aromatic ring in other words why can't you prepare an aniline so you have to give reason why you can prepare you cannot prepare an aromatic amine or why you cannot prepare an aryl amine or in other words why you cannot get the uh, instead of aliphatic amine and aromatic amine over here so if this has to be aromatic then this r has to be uh, r instead in place of r i have to use an aromatic ring and if i use instead of rx if i use arx over here then what is going to happen is this bond becomes difficult to break now where is this given this is given in halo arenes nucleophilic substitution is difficult to carry out in halo arenes why is it difficult to carry out in halo arenes imagine if this is arx that means this is chlorobenzene or bromobenzene or iodobenzene then with chlorobenzene this bond becomes difficult to break because this carbon is an sp2 hybridized carbon moreover the bond length of this is 170 picometer only whereas the bond length of this was 177 picometer and this carbon was sp3 hybridized breaking of this carbon was super easy but the breaking of this bond ccl is difficult this rx bond was easy to break the ccl bond or the arx bond is difficult to break moreover sn1 and sn2 mechanism were also ruled out because of formation of phenyl cation and a bulky phenyl ring at the back so backside attack becomes impossible that's why sn2 mechanism is ruled out and that's the reason why you cannot get an aromatic amine over here in place of aliphatic amine okay so that can be a give reason keep that in mind okay so let's move on to the next reaction that is aldol and another important reaction that is aldol condensation so aldol condensation is possible only and only if your compound at least one of your compound one of your reactants is should be having an alpha hydrogen now what is an alpha carbon basically this carbonyl carbon the carbon next to the carbonyl carbon is the alpha carbon and an hydrogen which is attached to the alpha carbon is called as alpha hydrogen okay so we need to have at least one of the reactants having alpha hydrogen over here if it is having an alpha hydrogen then definitely aldol condensation will take place if both your reactants are not having alpha hydrogen then aldol condensation will not take place instead of aldol condensation what is going to take place is the canizaros reaction with 50% of naoh this will require dilute naoh canizaros reaction requires 50% of naoh right why I, i am taking this session a little fast because you all are not naive students not newcomers new learners right you all have already studied throughout the year and i'm just giving you important tricks and techniques to remember these reactions okay so stay tuned to the channel because i'm going to upload some more content on our channel and that's going to be again very very important and very very handy to use for your upcoming exam okay so stay tuned in okay so now this is ch3 okay this is ch3 both of them are having alpha hydrogen alpha carbon as well as alpha hydrogen so there is migration of the alpha hydrogen over here in presence of dilute naoh this alpha hydrogen will migrate to this oxygen here we will be getting ch3 c double bond in place of c double bond this will become single bond o and this oh will get attached over here and this ch3 will become ch2 it will in turn get attached over here so where will this hydrogen go this hydrogen you keep it in the down line okay as it is valency of carbon is not satisfied so you keep the hydrogen at the bottom this ch3 becomes ch2 gets attached to the carbon and c double bond o oh c double bond o h follows the compound okay so this is an aldol why is it an aldol because what is the meaning of aldol aldehyde and alcohol together is called as an aldol so this is the aldehydic functional group this is the alcoholic functional group they are together that's why it's called as an aldol and it will undergo transient and rapid dehydration so this will oh this oh and h will combine to form h2o so we get h2o over here and what are we left with come on copy paste ch3 ch ch3 ch then double bond ch now single bond will convert into double bond in order to satisfy the valency and c double bond oh what we get is but 2 enol 
Yes, you will obviously start numbering from the right hand side. One, two, three, four, because functional group is over here. So one, two, three, four, but two enal. Second carbon is having an en, and aldehyde is the functional group. So but two enal also called as please remember the common name as well it's also called as crotonal dehyde kahi aisa na ho ki aapke exam mein puchte hai prepare crotonal dehyde aur aap idhar udhar dekhte ho ki kya karna hai isme so this is preparation of but2 enal or crotonal dehyde aldol condensation what if both your reactants do not have what alpha हाइड्रोजन भाई यहां पे अल्फा कार्बन ही नहीं है देर इज नो अल्फा कार्बन हो या सो यू के नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एन अल्फा हाइड्रोजन हो या सो बोथ द रिएक्टेंट्स आर नॉट हैविंग अल्फा हाइड्रोजन एंड वी हैव टू यूज 50 परसेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एन right and this is and you can say this is canizaro's reaction this is not aldol condensation anymore because aldol condensation i told you requires at least one of the reactants to have alpha hydrogen and none of the reactants are having an alpha hydrogen over here so it has to undergo a canizaro's reaction canizaro's reaction takes place only when both the reactants are not having an alpha hydrogen okay so what's going to happen over here in this reaction this is also called as hurry this is a very important point instead of asking you canizaro's reaction they may ask a self oxidation reduction reaction and you may get confused so remember that canizaro's reaction is also called as self oxidation reduction reaction self oxidation reduction reaction so what are we going to do is naoh is going to split into nao minus and h plus this h plus is going to migrate over here so at the double bond so i'll copy paste this hch the double bond o i'll write it as single bond And OH and this ONA, we will give it to the other one, provided that this hydrogen will get attached over here. This bond will break from here. This hydrogen will get attached over here. So here we are getting methanol. Okay, here we are getting methanol and alcohol. So in Canizaro's reaction, one of the product is alcohol plus sodium alkanoid. That means this ONA is going to get attached to the HC double bond O. So HC double bond O is getting connected with this ONA. जहाँ से तोड़ा है वहीं से जोड़ना है. आपने bond कहाँ से तोड़ा है? यहाँ से तोड़ा है. तो जोड़ेंगे भी आप यहीं से. ONA बनेगा. Sodium formate is the name of this compound. Okay. So in Canizaro's reaction, one thing is compulsory that you are going to get a combination of two products. That is alcohol and And sodium alkanoid, alcohol and sodium alkanoid. This is Canizaro's reaction. I'm going to come with a lot of other content. Please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the like button. And till then, happy studying.